All right, everybody, we are back. My next guest was the creator and star of the Emmy award-winning series, Dr. Katz, Professional Therapist. Now he has a new book out entitled To-Do Lists of the Dead. Please welcome Jonathan Katz. Jonathan, good to have you here. How are you? How are you doing? I am wound up like a top. <laughs> yeah. Just try and settle down yeah. for a second. I feel like my responsibility in show business is to calm people down, you know? Yeah. But I'm doing better than... Last time I was here, I had this very uncomfortable experience in makeup. In I the went, makeup room? Yeah, I went in there, and there was an actress who had already been made up, but I thought she was, I thought she was the woman who was going to make me up. <laughs> And she was a guest on she the show? She was a guest on the show. And I sit down next to her and I say, anytime you're ready. <laughs> and then it just got more and more uncomfortable. Well, and are, you, are, you, are, you, uh, are you enjoying your stay here in, in New York City? I know you're, I you're from my uh, native land, right. Boston, but you right. came here. Are you, are you having a good time here Yeah, in New York? I'm staying uh, at this very elegant hotel on the Upper East Side, a small hotel. And I got in last night to discover there's no cable. There's no spectrovision, but they have a VCR, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, you call downstairs, and they will send up a leather-bound uh, book this thick of all the titles you can rent, and they're alphabetical, be beginning with Anal Intruder 2. <laughs> really? That's where it starts. So I call downstairs, I explain to the concierge, I haven't seen Anal Intruder 1. <laughs> you think I still would appreciate. Um, anyway. You want to make sure you have the plot right. Yeah. That's right. Did you, uh, speaking of television, did you watch the debates the other night? I did. I watched them with my, with my eight-year-old daughter. Mm -hmm. And it was the first time in two years that she asked me if she could go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Do you even care about, are you a political person? Do you care about politics? Uh, in, the, in the 60s, I was, I was active in the civil rights movement when I was in college. And, um, and I still wonder how things would have played out if the dream that Martin Luther King had been talking about was the one where you're naked and you're in school and you're running, <laughs> but you're not really moving. You know that dream? Yeah, it would well, have been a much so, different speech. So yeah. different. <laughs> now, I understand congratulations are in order. It's your, is this right? Uh, your 20th wedding anniversary, is that? Hey, who's counting? But yes. <laughs> That's nice. 20 years. Yeah. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah. And I can still dress myself. That's good. No, I, I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. It meant nothing. Uh, <laughs> make sure you speak into the fake mic when you talk. Yeah. I'm in trouble hearing you. Now, uh, what's it like? 20 years? Is that? Is that? Well, you know, it's it's. Um, you know, I was I was a late bloomer with women, uh, so uh, my experience before I met I had no experience before I met my wife with women. In fact, the wedding night I, I tried to inflate her. <laughs> <laughs> I think she enjoyed it. Uh, yeah. uh, oh, do, uh, let's talk about the book. To, oh, to, my God. I just want to get that image out of my head. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> to do lists of the dead. Now, how did this book come about? Well, I, w I was stuck on a runway on my way here about three years ago. And I to took this a, show? Yeah. So I should get a piece of this? You, you have a piece of it. That's yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. And I take out my little... Palm Pilot, and I don't want one for free. Um, and I start writing on my own to-do list, just all these mundane tasks I have to do. And I got bored. I, moved, I created one for Abraham Lincoln. Mm -hmm. And it said, free slaves, uh, think a fancy way to say 87 years ago. And those are both <laughs> checked off. Uh -huh. And then it says, beef up, beef up security at Ford's Theater, which is not checked off. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was just a joke, but it turns out it was a book. Uh -huh. I had to talk so many people. Well, what, what, are, what are your favorites in here? I, I noticed there's a, there's a ton of them here. What, what, are there some that, that you particularly like? I'm very fond of, uh, of Einstein. I like his list. It says, uh, the third thing on his to-do list, it says, he says, the love you take is equal to the love you make. The guy was a genius. <laughs> but funnier than that is... is <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope so. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the pressure's on now. Hey funnier than that. Here you go, folks. But it... You're screwed no matter what happens now. Ma! <laughs> now if, if you say, where do you usually go? I'll say I didn't come here to be insulted. <laughs> where do you usually go? 
my favorite, uh, another favorite <laughs> of mine. <laughs> On Hitler's to-do list, it says, get something nice for Ava, like a, some fragrance, a, a fragrance or some jewelry or a big Slavic nation. Uh, Louis, Louis Braille. Louis Braille. Who invented the Braille system, says, tell her parents I'm practicing the system. <laughs> um, but I think my favorite... <laughs> Why does it have to be a favorite? One of my favorites is, uh -huh. is, uh, is Patrick Henry. You remember what he was famous for saying? Give me liberty or give me death? Mm -hmm. His to-do list says, try not to just blurt things out. <laughs> it's a very funny book. I was looking through it today. Are you upset at all that, uh, are you worried at all that you might upset people? Is there? No, I, you know, I, as a comedian, I figure you have to offend somebody. And I, I would start with the dead. <laughs> They possibly yeah. do. Well, uh, you are you are headlining. I must tell people how to get a hold of you. Headlining at the Jewish Community Center in Detroit, and then it says right here on May twentieth. But what's your point? <laughs> My point is that it's October fifth. March comes in like a lion. <laughs> All right. I have to say, I'm just, I have nothing else to plug. <laughs> so your, your reason for living is over now, yeah. yeah. Jonathan Katz, uh, the book is called To-Do List of the Dead. Check it out. We'll be right back. Amy Rigby, thanks for being here. <laughs>